Hello. This is the last level of the prototype. It's basically the boss level. It's a lot harder than the other levels because it just throws a lot of crap at you. If you want a challenge, beat it without this tutorial. If you want a real challenge, there's a lot of solutions and many of them are better than the one I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you a very simple one. The real key to beating this level is to understand that you're going to need to do a lot of, uh, of beam tightening. You're going to need a lot of quad pulls. And the quad pulls have a variety of annoying um, requirements. So if you put a quad pull in, you can change what the, uh, what the throttle is. And you can see that it goes from minus 3 dev to minus 9 dev to minus 15 dev. Now in theory, minus 15 is the best, but it requires you to pull from so far back um, that it's just obnoxious to try and get it to work. Now, there are plenty of solutions where you do that. You only need two of these um, quad pulls if you can get it to work at its maximum throttle. But that does require a lot of effort, so I'm not going to do it that way. Instead, I'm going to do it this way. Now, it says I need deviation data from pipe minus four. So one, two, three, four. deviation data. But I also need power, I mean I need an MEV data from pipe minus one. We could use sensors, but it makes more sense to use the glycol klystron, since we're going to need to accelerate this beam at some point anyway. But this needs energy data, okay. Let's put this um, turquoise deviation data in the background. Now here, you can see we've got our pipes lined up as blue, yellow, yellow. We need yellow, turquoise, blue. If you want to exchange your pipes, if you want to exchange two of these that are on the stack currently, then you do pull, and then you do exchange. But the problem is that we don't have enough space to pull this off. Uh, it's a very cramped situation for us. We are going to need to have power, so let's pull this power cable. And then we're going to want to have it so that it, it comes off in the opposite order that it currently is. So let's let's do this more more carefully. We want it to be yellow, blue, turquoise. Sorry, yellow, turquoise, blue. Right now it's going to be blue. So we need to have this line be turquoise, and then the line after that be yellow. So to do that, we want to put this guy. See how that's backwards? We're going to want to exchange that. So here, we're going to want to be able to stick our... There we are. See, that's blue. So now we're going to want to be able to pop a yellow cord onto the stack. To do that, we're going to have to exchange a yellow cord with that blue cord, and then put the blue cord back on the stack. See? Now it is yellow, blue. There we go. Now imagine having to do that for every single gap in the entire stretch. That's what you would have to deal with if you were trying to be more compact than this. But this is compact enough for our purposes. We're going to need more than one of these quad poles, um, but this basic setup here is pretty good. One of the things we can do that's quite nice is we can chain these uh, glycol klystrons. So we might as well put in another glycol klystron here. pull in the power, we pull in this, we get that out, and we gotta exchange the cable here. There we go. And then the glycol comes out, and then the glycol goes in, and it burns off. So this thing actually burns off a layer of glycol. Now, if you don't like that, you can go ahead and not do it like that. But, uh, it's not that bad. It's, uh, it's, it's, in our case, we've got some extra glycol, so we might as well not worry about it. That leaves us with some space here. What do we want to do with this space? Well, we're going to need a lot more power. So we definitely don't need that guy. Get rid of him. And let's start to reattach the things that got disconnected awkwardly here. I think that's everything. Can't pull out the glycol because it's too hot. But that's okay. Now our MEV... Beam too slow. Okay, it's stacking back up. We turned it off briefly and it aired out. So we're aiming for 800 MEV. 
but by the time it gets through this quad pole, it loses some of its speed, and it may not actually get all the way up to 800. Anyhow, we're definitely going to need more sensors. 760 MeV. So let's see whether or not we can pull that off. I think that these nitrogen klystrons, these have a minimum of, uh, of just... Oh, I don't need the deviation data for this. Get rid of it. Oh, it's too hot because we're using the wrong kind of coolant. So those nitrogen klystrons, they can go down to 750 MeV, and we are at 760 MeV. So this is a nice, efficient way to pull it off. If we move the nitrogen klystron down to here, it would not have worked, because the MeV rating would have dropped below 750, and we would have had to use three glycol klystrons. So this is a little bit more efficient. Unfortunately, these guys do not have an energy output, an energy reading output, so you do have to alternate sensors, like so. But in this case, we're also going to want to get our deviation output. So, we're going to want to stick that on the stack. Let's go ahead and pull the cable and exchange the cable, and now our deviation data is running along on the stack. We will stick a, a nitrogen cluster in here. Seventy-five K is what we came out with. Seventy-seven K is the absolute maximum. So our nitrogen is just at peak. On the plus side, our cur we are currently running at five GeV, and our target is only two GeV. So we've actually won. The only thing left for us to do is to get the beam down to ten E six or so. So if we want to have this deviation data from, let's take a look here, we can step either 4 or 6, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if we put a basic quad pole here, then we can actually get deviation data from all the way back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That'll be our deviation data. Um, don't need this here. But we're going to have to make sure that doesn't interfere with our stack at all, so we're going to have to pull that cable and then exchange it. Here I'm just going through and making sure all the wires are lined up. And down here we have a problem where uh, we don't have any, uh, we don't have the right order here, and we're running off of liquid nitrogen rather than glycol. But that's not a big deal. We can exchange the liquid nitrogen and the glycol pretty easily, and we can get this in order pretty easily. We need yellow, turquoise, blue. And right now it's yellow, blue, with no turquoise. And to get the turquoise involved, all we have to do is exchange which will put the turquoise on the stack where the yellow was, and then all we do is pop, which will put the yellow in front of it. And then to get the glycol working, we just pop the glycol back into the coolant stack. And now this is running at maximum. Pretty nice. The problem is that the glycol is totally tapped out. It is at maximum possible temperature. If we put our quad, our, uh, our pinhole collider, it takes glycol, and it's not going to stay cool enough with this kind of glycol in it. So here, we're going to have to cool down the glycol quite substantially. And that means that we're going to need this nitrogen fridge. Pretty easy to deal with, uh, except that we need to... Oh, sorry, it's not nitrogen fridge, it's a glycol cooler. There we go. And so that takes in the glycol at 400 degrees Kelvin, and using the last of our nitrogen's heat, we, uh, we cool it right back down to 220. And then we can pull in heavy power, pull in glycol. That sound effect needs to be modified. That's why there's no sounds in the really version yet. 
So that's a nice easy solution for this level. By the way, I really love when the sound effects are working. So that's the simplest solution in terms of least components used and most easy to understand. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, let me tell you, it's not been easy to record this. It's been a noisy, noisy day. Anyhow, you can play this game. You won't be able to play the sound. Or if you do have the sound, then uh, this solution won't help you at all because the levels will have changed. But anyhow, I hope you enjoy it.